All right, I came down to the shed today. I was kind of concerned thinking, how am I going to get this speedy sleeve on the crankshaft pulley? And I grabbed it up off the bench out of my kit, okay? And I got this kit when I first bought the tractor. I used certain parts of it. I didn't even use all of it. I used this gasket, this gasket, and I had intentionally bought this to replace the front seal on the on the motor, but I was intimidated to do it. So I come down here today, I'm thinking, how am I going to get this sleeve on? Do I have to heat it up? Do I have to do any of this stuff? And I put it on there, and it seemed to fit well enough, and I thought, you know, what can I lose? Okay, what can I lose? So I grabbed a piece of steel, same piece I cut out, okay, and I sat it on top. I started it the best I could with my hand, getting down. Of course, that's after I polished I polished the old race with uh, Scotch-Brite, okay? This stuff right here. Got started the best I could. No lubricant, no nothing. Sat this piece of steel on top of it and slowly just started tonking around it until I got it to go as straight straight as I could really good and started hitting in the middle and adjusting as I went and once it got to a certain point it was straight and I just slowly softly kept pounding 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 down tapping it tapping it tapping it till I got the fully seat this is as fully seated as it's going to get it's already seated down here but that was all there was to it I'm going to clean out the inner part with some scotch right get everything off it's really clean surfaces lack of thinner that'll be dry before I'm done this is good stuff then take some of this and I'm just going to run a bead all the way, not a bead, a skim, just a skim coat, all the way around here, because all I want to do, is make damn sure, this stuff is oil and gas resistant, even though it says non-hardening, trust me, it gets hard. Okay. Got her all around there. Thin, thin bead. Just, just any imperfections that might be there. Okay. Then I'm going to take my seal. I'm going to press it in. Okay. Take another piece of steel. this. Work it all the way around nice. Look at the front cover. It looks like it's sealed all the way around. Okay, so I am good. If that leaks, if it wants to leak, then by God it's going to leak and there ain't a damn thing I can do about it. It is what it is. All right. That be it, guys. She's down. So I'm going to let that harden up. And uh, that is it. Brand new seal in that plate. Also, because I'm always truthful with you guys. After I put that Don Hard Setting uh, Permatex in there, number two, I came back with number one. Okay, fast drying hard setting. And what I did is I laid a real thin, thin, thin line all the way around it and I wiped off the excess. Okay. Because I may not be alive when this thing, if, if somebody else takes this tractor over after I'm gone, 
they'll be able to still pull this out. But at the same time, I don't want there to be any leaking behind the, behind the seal because, I mean, that would suck to have it leak behind the seal and this all is good. So, gone through a lot of work to get here. So, it's kind of like a cheap insurance policy. Okay, so I work backwards. I have to do a lot of cleanup, a little bit of cleanup, not too bad. And just get some of these, get some. And I'm going to put Permatex on my gasket. I'm going to attach it to my front cover. Now, when I put my pulley on, um, the forum website says heat it up. I got it in the oven right now at 250 degrees. Okay. Got me a brand new nice gasket. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, making sure I got it on right. It goes on like that. What I'm going to do is run Permatex on this. And they say also that when you put the cover back on the engine, to make sure that you don't bolt it down, you want this to all be kind of loose here for when you put the pulley on. So, I'm going to go with my number two Permatex gasket sealer, and I'm going to run a bead all the way around. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the first initial couple screws. I don't want to tighten it down tight, like the forum said. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Got it out of the oven. Gonna line it up. Baby, don't do that to me. Oh, oh boy. I think I... <sighs> I'm missing the keyway. Alright, this time I marked where the keyway was on the end of my shaft. And I took the keyway and I placed it at the very top. Okay, so this time around, everything's going to be on the top. So, ooh, we'll see how that goes this time. She's steaming this time. I'm going to line the keyway up. Ah, there it is. Oh my god, yeah. Then, I gotta make sure I got her just right. I'm gonna stick this in there and need D. Heat, 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 right where it needs to be. All right, I am done. 
So, with that, she is on. Okay, let's uh, put the set screw back in. Got all my surfaces cleaned up. Tomorrow and right Saturday. back where she was. This is everything I took out of her. See that stuff in the bottom of that container? That's what I drained out of my tractor. Just by running it. You seen what I ran. Uh, hopefully the oil filter is doing its job. <laughs>